Most people would think that Chris Birdman Anderson spends the majority of his time in Denver practicing and playing for the Nuggets. But actually, he spends most of his time here at Tribe Tattoo in the Santa Fe Art District of Denver. This is where Anderson has received virtually all of his 30-some tattoos. Oh, the first one was the Chinese ganja. It was um, right when I got back from China. You know, me and my mother went and got our, uh, our tattoos, our first tattoos together. And um, after that, I just never stopped. I just kept going back and back. He's probably spent maybe 50, 60 hours here, possibly. Um, you know, and, I mean, he gets to where he's in here once a week. You know, we just try to get him in as much as possible just to get some of these things finished. And he still has so much unfinished work, it's crazy. It's, it's not something that I did just to do. It was, you know, um, you know, every tattoo has a, uh, a significant um, meaning to me. Uh, you know, there's like wings and then there's all of a sudden chains. So you're like, chains, wings, you know, what's the significance? It really isn't any, so, you know, it's just kind of Chris. I'm the Birdman. Although Birdman doesn't claim to have a favorite tattoo, his wings are clearly the fan favorite. But it was a process of getting those wings that nearly grounded the Birdman. The ones under my arms were the most painful. The wings were until I went and got my stomach done. I mean, yeah, the stomach's a real sensitive and tender area. Well, you know, I mean, it's just kind of up in your guts, you know, so, and, you know, I mean, he's a big guy, you know, I mean, he was just pretty excited about it, and then that went from excited to not so excited anymore, you know, so, I mean, it hurts. Birdman said as soon as he, quote, mans up, he'll finish the stomach tattoo, which is supposed to say honky-tonk outlaw, but if you ask Nuggets fans, they'll tell you the Birdman has already manned up. After coming back from his two-year suspension from the league, for substance abuse to show the world that success comes in all kinds of packages. I knew during their suspension that when I came back, this is where I was wanting to be, and, and uh, you know, I put in a lot of hard work, and, and as you can see, it's, it's definitely you know, proven itself.